all right what's going on everybody broken games hdr here and in this video i'm gonna give you my extremely late impressions for star wars the fallen order for anybody who cares and the reason you know my impressions is so late uh is because as many of you may know i had some serious issues getting star wars fallen order to run properly on my pc you know my 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 rig which has a 2080 ti in it but something i don't know what it is because i still couldn't figure it figure it out was causing the game to essentially be stuck at stuck between 35 and 45 frames did a whole bunch of troubleshooting went to a million threads tried a whole bunch of solutions everything i could literally find on you know on the internet to fix the problem and nothing did even after three patches it still wouldn't perform properly on my rig uh hashtag troubleshoot gaming but i luckily i did have a 16 uh, a laptop with a 1660 ti in it which runs the game uh very well so yes i'm finally getting to enjoy the game so let's talk about the game so remember how i always say that innovation and originality is overrated uh star wars the fallen order is uh very much evidence of that you know i always say uh originality and innovation is overrated and the best games are the games that take elements and different aspects of other games and combine them star wars the fallen order proves that there is virtually nothing original about this game almost nothing original i mean the star the the, the story is somewhat uh, original um but the ip obviously is not they've taken some creative liberties because i don't believe cal kestis is 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 canon um according to what i know he's not canon he's an he's a uh, a jedi that they've uh you know created um took creative liberties to 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 make on their own if i'm not mistaken right but the Star Wars IP is far from original. The gameplay, this game is literally Jedi Uncharted Sekiro. So the gameplay is far from original. So nothing really is original about this. And it's fantastic. This should absolutely be a nominee for a game of the year. But there was some issues in poli and, you know, politics as to why this wasn't nominated for game of the year. As many people explained on Twitter. But whatever. Uh, it should be a game of the year nominee. Right? So... Getting to talk about the story, I mean, so anybody who's a Star Wars fans, fan, it's, it's pretty simple. This game takes place after uh, Emperor um, Palpatine or uh, Darth Sidious um, executes Order 66, which is to pretty much kill all the, you know, exterminate all the Jedi. So that force that a lot of Jedi die, obviously, um, and then that forces a lot of Jedi to pretty much go into hiding, right? So this takes place after what would be uh, what would be Epi Star Wars Episode Three. Um, so pretty much, Cal Kestis is in hiding. Um, you know there are there are forces out there that if they find out you're a Jedi, they're definitely going to come after you. Uh, he is forced to kind of reveal his powers at the beginning of the game, um, and then uh, after that, he pretty much goes on a mission. Um, to find children who are force sensitive and uh, be a part of those who are reorganizing the Jedi Order, and that's pretty much the story of it. Um, and and that's pretty that's very fun to learn because they're obviously taking I'm sure they're taking some lore and some story aspects of of what's actually uh, what's actually a little bit canon. Um, and you know we never really got to ex explore um, what happens exactly after. Uh, you know, after episode three, after the after the order sixty six happens, I think they explored it a little bit. Um, in I think it's Star Wars Rebel that that show. I think they explored it a little bit. Yes, yeah, I think Star Wars Rebel ha happens after episode three, and there were a few episodes. Uh, I believe the Clone Wars towards the end might have might have explored it. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I, but I'm pretty sure Star Wars Rebel did. But as far as the gameplay goes. Plays very much like, like I said, Uncharted and Sekiro. Um, there's traversal. There's set pieces. There's some set pieces that, and, and set pieces in animation that seem to come right out of Uncharted. And like I said, I don't have any problem with that. You know, if something works, I think you should steal it. Um, it's it's very very Metroidvania in the way that uh, you know you. The, you'll go to places, you go to planets and areas, and there'll be things that you can't access immediately. So you have to go get, you have to go ret retrieve and unlock cert certain powers, and then you got to come back to get those. And I like Metroidvania games, but I, I it also messes with my OCD because I hate seeing an item 
and knowing that I can't access it yet. So it's like it's going to nag at my brain until I'm able to come back and get it. But when you come back and get it, it's obviously very satisfying. Um, so with, with the Sekiro aspect of this game or Souls aspect, uh, you know, I loved Sekiro, beat that game. Um, and that game really prepares you for, for this uh, the timing is a little bit different when you're doing like blocks and parries and and and, ref and reflects and everything like that. So you kind of have to get back in Sekiro mode, but you have to tweak your timing because that's one of the things I struggled with with the very early, I guess, mini boss or the early enemies. And I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, by the way. That's the only thing I kind of struggled with is you have to retrain your brain uh, for the timing for blocks and and deflects. Um, and parries, right? Because Sekiro's timing is very different from Fallen Fallen Order's timing. Um, so, as I said, there's different pow different force powers, you know, that you unlock: wall run, force push, uh, pull, and slow. There's exploration. There, there's puzzles. It's a very well-rounded game. A lot more well-rounded than most of us expected that it would be. Um, different from the different different from other Souls games. Uh, to get your XP back after you die, you just have to land a hit on the enemy. You don't have to kill the enemy. That makes it a little bit easier. You don't actually die from falling. Uh, I believe if you have enough health, you just respawn from the last place where you fell. So that doesn't actually kill you. Uh, there's some aesthetic customization. Um, you know, you could uh, customize what you're wearing. I believe you have to unlock it by playing the game. That's a shocker. You have to, you know, un unlock... Uh, aesthetics by actually playing the game that that's that's pl that was a pleasant surprise uh you can customize your you know your lightsaber and and the different parts of it and and the color and what cal is actually wearing so yeah all that is good and what's interesting about like the the, the gameplay the combat is i think the i would say the hit boxes are interesting right because you know in most of these games like this uh, you have a sidestep, right? And when you double, when you pretty much when you double tap the button, the sidestep turns into a a a, uh, a roll, right? Essentially a roll. And in most games, you just go right into the roll, uh, you know, for safe measure, right? Nobody, uh, most most people I know, never really just sidestep. I just automatically roll. But with the hit, the hit boxes, and the enemy tracking seems to be, I would say. Uh, I would say it, it's not as OP as it is in other games. Like if you s run around an enemy in a circle uh, in other games, that enemy is going to track you for the most part, right? Even if you run around them in a circle and if, and if you don't dodge. But in this game, I've noticed if you just, even if you just don't, not even run around, if you just move slightly to the left to dodge a move, sometimes that's enough, depending on the enemy. In most other games, you literally have to do a whole roll. So in this game, because I guess because of the small hitboxes or the enemy tracking, you could just move to the side a little bit or just do a side step. And I found that interesting. Visually, uh, the game is beautiful. Um, it has impressive level design. I loved how they designed the planets, um, you know, designed the, the, the levels and everything like that. I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bit of issue uh, deciphering the 3D map. Not that I get lost or anything, but if, I, if I'm actually trying to look at this map and deci decipher exactly where I want and exactly where I want to go, I do have a little bit of trouble with that, so I don't even really bother with the map, really. I just kind of figure out things on my own. I don't need the map. I'm just saying that I have some type of uh, trouble deciphering the map, but it's a good map. It's not a bad map. I'm just, I guess I just have a little bit of trouble, um, you know, uh, interpreting it and, and reading it essentially. Um, there are, there, I did run into a few bugs, nothing game breaking or, or anything, uh, aside from the initial problem that I had on my rig. And on my rig, it could be literally, you know, with PC game, it could, it could be one program causing another program or causing a game not to, not to run right. And that's honestly probably what it is because I'm sure if I did like a, like a, a system restore and just reinstalled everything on my rig over over again the game would probably run right and that's the problem with pc it could be a million things that could cause one thing not to run properly and you know i've tried to go through a lot of million i've, in, I've uninstalled a lot of things tried a lot of things but you know yeah um didn't figure out exactly what it is so aside from that uh which seems to be an anomaly there are sometimes some frame rate drops and they've released i think Two, uh, two or three patches. It runs great on, on, on my laptop with the 1660 Ti, as I said. Uh, 
based on some benchmarks that I've seen, it could even do on on you know, like a 1660 Ti. I could do like 1440p, 60. So it's it's pretty optimized. It's very well optimized, um, and everything like that. And like I said, it, it's definitely a game of the year contender for me. Uh, I, I'm I'm loving the game. So. I can't wait to get further. Um, let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, let me know how, how you've been enjoying uh, Fall in Order. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying all aspects of it. Uh, this, this might be, my game, coincidentally, funny enough, my game of the year will probably be between um, Sekiro, Fall in Order, and Resident Evil 2. And you know, two of these games are obviously extremely similar. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the game. Can't wait to get further. And uh, yeah, I like, I like the characters. Cal is a you know is a, is a cool character you know even his his you know just his uh, mannerisms I guess and some of his dialogue even remind me of uh, a little bit of a little bit of Nathan Drake um, but yeah, he does seem to be uh, his own um, character but and even though I'm someone who says I I hate seeing real actors in video games because sometimes and you know he's most notably he's most notably known from uh from playing jerome in gotham i finished all seasons of gotham but i think because he looks so different from how he's portrayed in 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 as jerome in in, in gotham because he looks a little bit he looks significantly different to me in, in dead i'd fall in order it's not as jarring to me right so it doesn't bother me as much, you know. He looks sane. he he looks like a sane person, you know. And there's a whole bunch of makeup and and everything like that put on him in in Gotham. So it doesn't bother me as much, right? I'm able to see this original character a little bit more. But yeah, those are my impressions. Um, let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.